Hello everyone, I am Dr. William Smith, in today's lecture, discussing about cervical erosion. Cervical erosion is also known as cervical ectropion. Now, talking about definition. Cervical erosion is a condition where the squamous epithelium of ectocervix is replaced by columnar epithelium and becomes continuous with the endocervix. You will able to understand it better if you know the anatomy of cervix. The cervix is the lower, narrower portion of the uterus. It connects the cavity of the body of the uterus with the lumen of the vagina. Two openings are there. Internal osses above and external osses below and in between the lumen endocervical canal. The mucosa lining the cervical canal is known as the endocervix and the outer portion is called ectocervix. Endocervix is lined by columnar cells and ectocervix is lined by squamous cells. The junction between the two is called squamocolumnar junction. The squamocolumnar junction is not static. It moves inwards and outwards depending upon the level of estrogen. When estrogen level is high, the junction moves out, resulting in cervical erosion. According to etiology, cervical erosion is of two types, congenital and acquired. Congenital cervical erosion occurs just after birth due to high levels of estrogen derived from the mother. The columnar epithelium of endocervix extends beyond external os. As the estrogen level falls, this erosion heals spontaneously. Acquired cervical erosion can be due to hormonal. During pregnancy or among pill users, the high level of estrogen results in cervical erosion. The squamocolumnar junction returns to normal state, usually three months after pregnancy or withdrawal of pill. Chronic cervicitis may also be associated with cervical erosion. According to histology, cervical erosion can be classified into flat type, follicular type, and papillary type. Now, let us know the clinical features of cervical erosion. Most common symptom is vaginal discharge. It can be mucoid, mucopurulent, or may blood stained. Contact bleeding can occur following coitus or defecation if the patient is pregnant or using pills. If there is associated cervicitis then, pelvic pain, backache or infertility can occur. Perspeculum examination can reveal bright red area in the ectocervix, extending beyond the external OS. Outer edge of this area is clearly demarcated. Lesion is smooth, having small papillary folds. It is neither tender nor bleed to touch. On rubbing with a gauze, there may be multiple visible oozing spots. Feel is soft and granular. Now, coming to management of cervical erosion. Cervical smear should be done in all cases to exclude dysplasia or malignancy. During pregnancy, treatment should be withheld for at least 12 weeks. Pills should be stopped and barrier methods sold be advised. If there is persistent erosion and discharge, thermal cauterization, cryosurgery, or laser vaporization can be a good option. We will come with more videos like this. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.